gonna show you how to image trace in Adobe Illustrator. First, we want to go to Photoshop. We want to drop in our image. I got this image from FreePick, super cool. Now, what I wanna do, I'm just going to crop the image a little bit on the sides here, just like that. I'm gonna go down to my little adjustments and I'm gonna click on black and white because I wanna make this black and white. And then what I'm gonna do is actually go to Camera Raw Filter. So I'm gonna go to Filter, make sure I've selected my image, click on Camera Raw Filter. And what I wanna do is really pull out the details in the image. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually bring up the contrast and then bump up the texture by a lot. So you can see how there's a lot more detail. So texture and, and um, contrast, press OK. Then what we wanna do is go to Filter and then we wanna to go to Filter Gallery. Now from that, we wanna click on Stamp. Now this will create a nice effect where we can vectorize in Illustrator. Now the settings I'm using is three for the light and dark balance and the smoothness is on five. I think this gives a nice look for the cowboy. Let's press OK. Let's save for web. So I'm gonna go File, Export, and then we can go Save for Web. I'm just gonna reduce the resolution by a tiny bit. So I'll put it on 60% and then I'm gonna click Save and save it in here. And so once I'm in Illustrator, all I've got to do is grab that picture that I just created. I'm going to drop it into Illustrator. I'm going to scale it down to where I want him to be. Probably something like that. Now, what I want to do is you click on the image and on the top left, you'll see some options. I'm going to click on image trace. Now, what it's going to do is going to image trace the black and the white in this image. I'm going to just left click on this little box on the top left to get my options here so I can customize it. Now, what I want to do is I want to bump up the threshold a tiny bit. I'll also bring up the paths. I'm going to turn preview off. I'm going to bring up the paths, the corners as well. Drop the noise a bit. And I'm going to click ignore white and then click preview and you'll see the result that I'm going to get. So this is the result. Really cool. If I want it to be a bit more organic, I can bring the corners the opposite direction and make it less. And you can see it curves it a little bit more. So if I'm happy with that, all I've got to do is press expand on the top left corner. And now I've got this cool outlaw. I can left click on the guy and go to transparency panel and change it to multiply and drop the opacity to like 50%. And then we've got this cool look, this cool vectorized image in Illustrator. So that's how you vectorize any image that you want using Illustrator and Photoshop. Click on the video on the screen if you want to see more tutorials just like this.